I'm doing it, man. I'm asking Sharon to marry me. Freshmen don't need to be getting married. Oh, yeah, but I am. Nathan. Surprise. Look, man, we've really got to talk. Sharon and I. Sharon and you what? Things just happened. My girlfriend and my best friend. I, I can't believe you'd sell the boat without talking to me. Nathan, we've been sulking on this island for far too long. You got 30 days to grow up, son. What, so you're just gonna keep running? Is that the plan? Nathan Hannigan, it is good to have you home. No, 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 it's Nathan. Well, you don't mind my giving her your room, do you? That'll work. Well, so the school is willing to pay for an assistant coach. Really, though, thanks for thinking of me for this position. I appreciate it. No, of, of course, you're perfect for me. And I mean, you're perfect for the position. I, like, I thought about you first. Don't let that dress fool you. Miranda's always going to be a tomboy. Come on, growing up, I had a huge crush on you. I'm sorry. I, I can't. Have you been thinking about her the entire time? Okay, Nathan, this has to stop. I mean, you and Jeremiah were best friends. What do you want from me? I want you to forgive him! If Nathan doesn't want to see me, then I don't want to see him either. Oh my gosh, like, what are you in sixth grade? You still have a crush on this guy? Nathaniel. There are things that we all need to change about ourselves, but we can't blame God because He helps us change. He doesn't force us. She told me that uh, you have a couple of publishers looking at your book. I think it might be missing something. What? What is it missing? You need an ending. <laughs>